Face track on. No, sh maybe up a bit. Okay, this is the Bluetooth Marshall speaker that I shot with only this Falcon Eye LED light, the F7. Okay, so let's start. Now we're in in my computer, and uh, here is the files that we took. And let's start with Photoshop. I'm going to File Script load files into stack and then i browse and here we have the images pang pang open attempt to automatically align source images don't use this one because there is he will not be able to do this anyway because we have just light on specific details and of course he cannot i wonder which one we should start with maybe one of these where you can see the background. Okay, this will be the main. And uh, what's next? Here is one with the, the white board here. The light is hitting it and it reflects into the logo. Look how nice it is. It's actually just this one lit up, goes into the logo, you know. And I'll put that one above. And you know, all we need to do, when you ha we have all these layers in Photoshop, all I do is go down to this create new mask and then I hold down the alt or maybe it's option key and um, then it creates a black mask and then I just go to brush oh, it's over here the brush tool B I can also hit the B key on the keyboard and then I I can decrease Increase, increase, decrease the size by holding. Okay, this is, I know this is Mac commands, but it's similar, I think, to, with the PC. This is Control Alt, and then you can. It's perfect. And then I just choose white as a foreground color, and then I paint on this mask. You know, when I paint on the mask, then the image will appear and you can you can even see this what I painted if I hold alt and click on the mask you can see this is what I painted and if I own if I shut down the layer below then we can see okay this image with the eye I just painted this is what I paint and just make sure it's on top of the other image and then it, you will be okay so I will paint this on and then we'll see what happens by the way if you hit the R key then you can rotate the whole thing then it's it's easier then go back to the brush then it can be easier to paint with the brush so now we have the front R escape nice front panel and um, what's next we need something more we need this side the right side i would drag it down Oops. and again up old key mask old mask um, black mask it disappears brush tool, switch to white foreground, and then we can start to paint this side in. The best would be to use the pen tool actually. So and then you will have the more precise. Now I'm just painting with the brush and you know, it's not 100% maybe, but it will work. all the way here comes a bit dark there but maybe it's fine we'll see when I put on the other one okay that's the side nice and now we need something for the top this is one this is I think I have a nicer one hmm, maybe that one not that one this looks a bit bright to me 
didn't I manage to get a nice from the top? I think it must be this one. I could have done a better job, but okay. Let's put it in. Like this. And let's make that background black. There we go. Well, not that bad. Not that bad. It, I was a bit quick there, but uh, I should have... If I angled it a bit even more, I think this, you know, this iPhone is not that high quality. I want, would like it to be like this, you know, to see the, the structure of the leather there, but it's okay. It's okay. Let's go for that one. And what do we have more? I wonder if I should put this in or not. Or we should, if we should keep it black there. I can test. I will take this one. Old mask. I should make a t-shirt. Old plus mask. Okay. What will happen now? The problem with this. It's actually good that I'm showing you. Because when this lie when this image meet this one you know it will be black what you can do now it's starting to look very unnatural unreal i would try to i would take the gradient tool and then i will make a gradient on the mask i'm still on the mask and i make sure i have black because that will kill this and then I do it like this. So when they meet each other, it will look nice. Hopefully. Yeah. Maybe it's nice to have that corner a bit brighter, yes? Okay, let's go for that one for now. Let's see how it is. If you look at the mask, you know, I was, I f was fading. So they can meet these two image images from dark, then it goes to bright. Yes, it's kind of nice. So, what do we have more? If I go from the top here. This I think is for the the top of the knobs here. So I will take that one. I will drag it down. Alt mask brush white and let's see if we can paint them in just the top to see if it will look nicer or not because they're a bit blown out in this image so it wouldn't actually but i'm not 100 sure yeah in a way they look nicer but the golden will disappear here maybe if we take back the golden part Make sure I don't paint outside. For some reason, they lost the golden color on the top. So maybe we have to help it color it a bit. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. I will. Um, I will look if we have something else fun. This one we will not use because we already using the alternative one so let's kill that one this is i think for the this one the on off but it's not a button it's something else go down you should really take your time when you're doing the light testing a lot to see what looks nice you know and then you can get amazing result. But do many, many test shots. Because then you have much to choose from when you're in Photoshop. What about this? Do we like it or not? It's too bright. Let's take this part away. It's so bright. Maybe I can put on um, levels. Maybe. I just want to take down the highlight a bit. 
looks kind of fake. What if I put on a selective color and go to white? Maybe. Okay, let's leave that one. And let's go through the last ones here. This one, I think it was alternative for the top, but it's too bright. Kill. And that's an alternative for the top right. We already have that. Kill that one. What is this? Alternative for the front. Don't need that. Kill it. What is this? Some bad overall light. We don't need that. What is this? This is the... I will copy this, the first one, and put it on top. And then I think... Maybe what happens if I paint in the for the knobs? They're a bit dark up there. It would be nice to see them, I think. Maybe it will work. So this is this will be the final shot. And I I would just smack them together. And then I would like to I will put on a curse layer to see where it looks like a mess. And then I will go back to this layer and then I just will kill with the um, what is it called spot healing brush tool and I just cleaning up a bit. And then I will go close because I want them to be more golden this. Here you can clearly see iPhone quality but hey you will not go that close on your portfolio you know you need just to have a nice small low res uh, and let's paint in some golden for the knobs this is too much maybe this color yeah that one is better Painting a bit golden. I just pick the color outside here, hold down the alt, and then I pick, and then you see, I will get, I will see what I will get. And then I just paint it in. Because this golden color on the top was lost for some reason. Okay, there we go. And I take the spot healing brush tool because we need to clean this a bit from dust. I saw something down here. Maybe there, there. This is so yellowish, reddish. Maybe we can take this, take it down a bit. And then we paint back on the Marshall. We take the saturation down on the wooden part, the surface, and then we paint back the golden on the marshal. Like this, okay. And then I would do a, like a vignette around it. Quick, 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 quick. This video is way too long. This is very extremely rough. Uh, new layer, copy this one, make it black put on a mask um, don't inver invert it so it will be uh, visible and then I go to gradient and then I will try to make this visible again and then we just we will see a bit very mysterious nice something like this maybe maybe a tiny bit bigger here something like this okay guys way too long video this is the final shot uh, maybe I will <laughs> maybe I would do put on a bit of like an S curve to make it pop out a bit okay I maybe I will polish the colors a bit and you know but we have to end this now and Thank you for watching 
uh, and now you hope I hope you realize now that you can do anything with very little I don't want to hear is excuses again that you don't have any equipment you know you don't need to have this fancy uh, stuff um, to have this nice photos in your portfolio because it's enough to have this uh, uh, this quality you know of course it's better if you can have like a small Sony or something you know mirrorless but you can do it with your phone and just uh, a good LED light okay thank you for watching thanks for subscribing thanks for everything and as always see you next time